we create user-defined fields to help us describe or characterize the entries in our database. When it comes time to add a value to a user-defined field for an entry, we have two ways of doing that. The obvious way is to click on my user-defined field tab following window, browse to the appropriate user-defined field, and put an entry to it. The easier way is to stay in my details tabbed window and work with what are called key field lists. Now a key field list is really nothing more than a selection of user-defined fields and perhaps some basic fields that have been put into a list for my convenience. The product always ships with default key fields. Some versions of the product ship with prepared key fields, but because you want to, you are going to want to create your own key field list, I'm going to show you how to do that today. I begin by clicking on this little gear and selecting Customize Key Fields. The program assumes that I want to modify the key field list I was looking at, but in this case I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel. That takes me over into the area where I have the option to click Add and start my own key field list. Earlier I began one called Family Snapshot and I'm going to just kind of show you how I'm going to modify it and add to it because the process is the same for creating a new one or modifying an existing one. I gave the key field list a name. I decided I would keep full access so I control what goes in that key field list, but I give public access so everybody else in my office can use it if they want. When I first went over to key fields and got ready to make a selection of fields to add to this list, the first decision I had to make was what kind of entry in the database will this key field list apply to? I selected contact. And remember, you have to make that decision before you do anything else. After that, I clicked on Add Fields, and I added a whole bunch of fields here and made some modifications to them. And I realize as I look at this, between Child 2 and Child 1, I don't have the age for Child 1. So I'm going to begin by clicking Add a Field. The dialog box comes up that gives me access to a selection of basic fields, which I'm not interested this time, and also to my user-defined fields. I'm going to click through here to child number one. I'm going to select age. When I do that, the program says that's what you've selected. Is it what you want? I click yes it is, and I click insert. And then I'll close this dialog box. And I'll take this user-defined field and gradually move it up here so it's up underneath. Um, child number one. I want to go a little bit further. I'll pull gender down so I've got name, age, gender. Looks the same as it does for child number two as well. Over here I have another selection of user-defined fields I've already picked, but it's a little bit kludgy the way I'm looking at it. So I'm going to add another group title and I'm going to call this pers... Uh, how do I spell personal? P-R-S-O-N-A-L. Personal info. And uh, I don't care where the program happened to put that group title because I'm going to grab it, pull it over here, put it up to the top of all these guys here. As I look at the fields I selected, I realize that around about here, I start to talk more about what's going on family-wise. So I'm going to add a separator and put that separator down here uh, between all this business and age information for my contact and I'm going to put it in front of all the marital stuff there. I'm satisfied this is the way I want it. I click Save. Takes me back to where I could create another one if I wanted to. I'll click Close. And now I'm back to my Details tab and I am going to go ahead and select the key field list that we have just created. This way, I can look at this information before I make a call to Jessica and I'm primed to know what I want to talk to her about and so on and so forth. That's how easy it is to do, folks, and you'll enjoy doing this because you will really value the convenience of having key field lists organizing your user-defined fields. Bye for now.